everybody, this is Praxis, and there's nothing really particularly interesting going on today, so you can just turn the video off right now unless you want to know what dull stuff I'm working on. Uh, essentially, you call me yesterday, I was talking about how there's a lot of lumber downstairs, a lot of wall boards that are in the way of making the new stud walls. It just, it's all kind of passing through the areas that I need to work. So instead of just moving all that lumber, I decided to look around the house and see if there's anything that I can use up some of that lumber on. So instead of moving it to another place and then you know, picking it up again and cutting it and then putting it into use, I'm just picking it up directly, cutting it and putting it into use. And I realized that while these areas here aren't super critical, there's no you know, real wiring going through, there's no plumbing going through. Although, okay, there actually is some plumbing going through. I just realized I kind of screwed something up. <laughs> um, these are just closets and they're gonna be great you know, they've been using up a lot of boards. I, I did these little uh, nailers around here and I just realized just now this moment that there is some plumbing that is going to go through this area uh, and uh, it needs to pass right through here. So I guess, um, I don't know, I, that, that, that's no big deal. I can just cut that or whatever. But um, yeah, I just realized some plumbing does have to come up through here. Uh, you, whenever you're running plumbing through a house, you need to uh, vent it out to the top. And that. Uh, keeps uh, gases from your septic system or the sewers or whatever going up into your house. Uh, you know, some of those gases can be ex explosive, uh, you know, flammable gases, so you want to vent those up and out. Uh, a lot of times, you know, if this were a normal house, uh, they would be running the pipe up through here and they would they just pop it up through this wall here. I don't want to do that though. I think that's foolish to put a pipe coming up out of your roof when you're going to have a lot of snow load uh, you know, going down towards that pipe. Put stress on the pipe, it keeps your roof from shedding the snow. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, having a plumber bring up the, uh, the vent pipe and then run it almost all the way up as close to the peak as we can get up here and have it come out towards the top so that way we don't have a bunch of snow load on it uh, and um, you know, the roof will shed better and you know, we don't have the risk of snow kind of yanking at it and causing leaks later on. Uh, and I got to run through there and I, I put a uh, board through there, so screwing shit up today. But uh, I am using up wall boards. Uh, I've got these four bays here that I'm kind of doing the same kind of thing in and uh, just trying to use up as much as I can so that, uh, you know, there's less, there's less wood to move around down, down the stairs. I really don't like the fact that you have to put the plumbing up through the roof anyway. I really wish you could just bend it out through the side. Um, and then you could go up and be above the roof line. I just hate it. I hate when you have to put holes in your roof for any reason. And uh, I, I checked with the plumber and the codes in this area say that you, you gotta put a hole in your roof for that. There's not really any technical reason why that's better than going out through the side and then going up. It's just the way they do it. And tradition trumps good sense a lot of times in building codes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching.